Huh. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, we last left off designing some vacation homes, I suppose. But uh, basically, since the last video, I've just been designing some vacation homes off camera. Because it does take a very long time to design those. So in this episode, I'm going to show off some of those vacation homes that I've been working on. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this one. But, uh, before we do go to that island, let's check out this campsite for a second here. You would not believe who showed up at my campsite today. <coughs> I had some weird luck in this game today, man. It's wild. But look at that. It's one of those new characters. It's like that squirrel, that weird, like, space squirrel of some kind. Look at that, there's a lot to love about camping. How cool is that? But uh basically, yeah, I mean she's moving in, I believe. I played the card game and all that stuff. We will see what happens, but uh yeah. So she'll be moving in soon, I suppose. I mean she's pretty cool, so why not? I haven't had a squirrel villager in a while in this game, so Yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the island. Come on, we gotta go. Gotta show you all these vacation homes. Oh yeah, I mean, we also got this new resident over here. I saw her on the uh, Nuke Miles Island tour thing. She's really cool, honestly. She's an armadillo. She's like the only armadillo in this game. Yeah, yeah, I know. We got Sierra in the town, whatever. But yeah, that's really cool. I like her. She's an armadillo, so... I had to bring her over here, why not? But yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting uh, few days. I'm doing school stuff here and there, trying to figure out what's going on, all that jazz. Let's uh, see, alright, uh, go to work, there we go. And I got a dentist appointment tomorrow too, so that's fun. I haven't been to a dentist in ages, honestly. Honestly, it's been like maybe two years, actually. Because 2020, you know what happened. I don't think anyone went to the dentist in 2020. I don't know. Did you go to the dentist in 2020? Let me know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't trust that shit. It's like, oh boy. Imagine paying someone and then you get COVID. That shit must suck. But yeah. I figured why not. We got I gotta get a cleaning and a checkup, all that jazz, but uh Yeah, I mean as you can see here we are on the island. We got a few weird characters here. But uh not only did I have that squirrel show up on my island today, but someone else showed up here today and I designed them a vacation home today. We're gonna go check in them out in a minute. And we also have this girl here too. This is another new character. She's pretty nice looking too, honestly. I feel kind of bad. I don't know if I'm going to design her a home or not. I also like this character too, honestly. She looks really cool. It's a nice uh, goth looking rhino, essentially. But, uh, yeah, let's bust out the phone. Why don't we take a look at the vacation homes I've designed. Yeah, you can probably see who that is already, yeah. But, uh, let's see. So, of course, we remember this one. Let's check out this one first. If you've seen the previous videos, I mean, this is the one I designed, the first vacation home. But this time I got to design the outside. I actually didn't design the outside the first time I made this home. But now I could, so uh, yeah, there you go. That's the outside. The inside is pretty much the same still, so I'm not really going to show that. It's pretty simple in there. You can see it in the uh, upper right there, but uh, yeah, you can check it out and whatnot, but... That's her home. That's the outside. I made it like a little mansion kind of thing. So that's cool. Oh shit. He's trying to get me to work. No, not anymore, dude. I worked enough today, man. But uh, yeah. That's her house updated. Let's see what else we got here. The next vacation home we did. What was the second vacation home? I can't remember. I think it was this one. I think I also did this one off camera. 
This was the second one I think I did. This the icy kind of environment, which is pretty cool. That's the outside. Just a nice, uh, weird outdoor icy area. But we go inside the house. Who am I inviting in? Nico? Nico doesn't come inside, does he? That would be funny if he came inside. But yeah, we have this little house here. I do believe, yeah, this was like the second house I designed. Just a nice little uh, cozy cabin sort of thing. There she is as well. What is she looking at? She's looking at the snowflake, I guess. Yeah. Nice little tiny house, but I like it. Keep it small. This was, of course, before I unlocked the ability to expand houses. I don't know if I'm going to expand all these older houses or not. I'm really not sure, but uh, there she is. So let's go. We could do this from here, right? We can hop from houses like this. Save ourselves another loading screen. Yeah, all right. This was the third house I think I made. We could just check the dates, honestly. But I'm just going to like look at these one by one. But I'm pretty sure I remember... Because it's only like 10 or so. I think 11. Here's this one. It's a nice little apple orchard. It's like there's the outside. Whoa! <laughs> She's hiding in the flowers, dude. I was like, where is she? There she is. That shit's scary, man. She's freaky. But, uh, yeah, it's the outside. Nice little apple garden. It looks a lot nicer in the sunset, but, uh, the reason the lights are, or the reason why it's night is because. I wanted to see what our house looks like in the night time. I think this house looks nicer in the night time. Kind of went for a weird New York apartment kind of feel with this one. Nice and small. Everything's compact. But you have everything you need, essentially. You got your little TV. You got your kitchen. You know, all that stuff. Got an AC up there. Got some pictures on the wall. I love that item up there. You see that item? I can't wait to get that item, man. I'm a sucker for that item. Probably every house I designed so far, I probably put one of those at least in every house I designed so far, man. I'm a sucker, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's her house, Apple's house, just a little apple orchard. I wonder if I can can I go to a different house from here? Let's see, that'll be kind of cool. So we can go through these super quick, but uh. This was the next house, I believe, right here. Yeah, we can do that. That's awesome. Seven minutes so far. Okay. Here we have this house. Vivian's house. She wanted a gym kind of theme. So her outdoor area is like a little outdoor gym over here. She can relax by the water. Or she can climb up these rocks or whatever. There she is. Just... Hang it out, she goes out her house. He's gonna follow us inside. This is her house inside. Of course, this is when I learned how to polish shit, so I made everything sparkly. <laughs> but uh this is her home. It's a uh, indoor workout. She likes to dance and such. She's already stretching. She also likes to drink booze, because why not? But uh, yeah, it's a nice little disco room. Looks really cool. But uh, very simple still, just nice and small. Like I said, I did all this before I uh, unlocked the ability to change the size of houses, honestly. So this was pretty simple. I honestly like working with the smaller houses. It's fun to see how much you can do in such a small space. Then we have this one. This nice little one here. This is Tasha's vacation home. This is her vacation home. It's nice little mountains. She likes orange, so I went for all the orange here. Take a look inside her home. Now her home, I have to say, this home's a little, uh, a little simple. I would say, yeah. Honestly, uh, I kind of want to go back and redesign this one, probably. 
This one I kind of simplified, honestly. Didn't really work too hard on this one. A bit of more of an open kind of feel, though. It does feel more open. I guess it's good to have some open space in your home. I mean, when it comes to designing these houses, I can't help but like load them up with so much shit, honestly. <laughs> but this one's a little bit more of an open concept, so we got a nice little spot to watch TV. Honestly, this little corner right here looks kind of cozy, honestly. Got a little area to have some bread and some tea. There's those shelves again. There's Bowser, because why not? And there she is, uh, watering her flowers. And, uh, yeah, everything is sparkly. I can't, I don't know how you unlock the ability to change the sparkle effect, but I can't wait to get that, man. Yeah, here's our bed, all that stuff. I kind of like this spot. I think this looks nice, this little corner. <coughs> Excuse me. But for some reason, I don't know how this happens. There's an AC down here. I don't know why there's an AC there. I guess I actually placed that there. If I recall... I think I was like really tired when I was making this room. It was like really late at night. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to throw this one together and go to bed. Because like I said, this still takes a lot of time. Some of these I designed like two in one day. Ah, poopy. No, don't do that. Stop. Don't leave. Okay. We're good. Look at her. I love her though. Let me look at her. She's so cool looking. Let's see if we can look at our camera see what she looks like. She's really cool looking. Check that out. I love her design. She looks like... She reminds me of like fire for some reason. Take a picture. That's a nice shot. Alright. Let's go. Check out the other house. Now this house... I think this is still probably one of my favorite houses I designed in this game so far. We got Marlo. One of the new guys again. And I love this guy, man. At first he seemed kind of like basic at first when you see him but what makes this guy special is who he is like his character he's actually based off of like mob bosses like mafia movies and stuff i think that's really clever so i had so much fun designing this guy's house here's the outside of course the red cars for the weekends the black cars for his job you know how it is I love Marlo, man. This guy is so cool. He's like, now I'm surely admiring my vacation home. Ain't the only reason you came here, is it? How are things doing? You can tell a lot of how someone is just by looking at their yard. It takes a lot of work to keep this place. You understand? But yeah, I love this guy, dude. And this house, I had so much fun designing this one. Once again, I just worked with the space I had. Had very limited space still. This is before we um, had the ability to expand, but I had so much fun with this one. Just check this one out. Like this. I don't know. I'm just in love with this one. Just really make it look like a mob boss's house. As you can see, decorated the walls. All sorts of things. He's got treasure all over his house. All sorts of rare, expensive items decorated in this small room. Of course, we should. Like, I probably should expand this too because this guy should have a, like the biggest house in the game. Because you know, he's got a lot of income. If you know what I mean. But yeah, I love this one. I like how it came out. But yeah. That's Marlo's mansion, basically. There's his money. He's got a little projector up there. You see that painting up there on the wall? Like, that's where the projector would show his movies and stuff. Of course, this is where his employees would sit to have a little talk. It's like, alright, I need to take care of some business. Yeah, that's Marlo. Surprisingly fun character. Just look at his face, man. Look at him. He's drinking some wine. <laughs> He's just so cool, dude. I love him. He's so fun. But, uh, yeah. Marlo's little mansion. We're gonna probably expand that someday, but I'm happy with how it looks so far. And then we have Bob. Now, Bob! Oh, my goodness. You can see what I did with Bob, man. I went ham with Bob. Bob said he wanted a house with flowers, so I was like, you know what, Bob? 
I'll hook you up, Bob. But uh, here's the outside. And this is when we finally unlock to the ability to expand rooms and such for these guys. But there's Bob. Very strange fella. But uh, let's just go talk to him. Let's see what Bob's up. Let's see what he says. And he, smell he smells. He keeps talking about smelling things, which is weird. He likes to smell, dude. All right. And here's the outside, a nice little outdoor garden, basically, but the inside. He wanted an indoor garden in his house, essentially, and they gave you so much to work with here. So I just went totally bonkers with Bob here, and I just was like, you know what, Bob? You like flowers, so I'm going to hook you up with flowers. So here's Bob's home. Honestly, yeah, this one, <laughs> I think it looks nice, yeah. Not too shabby. I mean, here... This is where he works, like he just works from home, just sits right here, does his taxes and his job here so he can afford more flowers and all that jazz. He's got a bed for him to sleep on. He's got his little TV station over here to watch his television stuff, you know how it is. But, uh, yeah. I'm stuck. All right, don't get stuck. Yeah. These houses are cramped, but I don't know. That's what I do. Bob's house. There it is again. I'm telling you, you're going to be seeing them in every house I design. I'm a sucker for it. I don't know why. But yeah. I just have a lot of fun looking at this one in first person. Especially at night. Like, I, this one also looks pretty decent at night. That's a little. That's Bob's house. All right. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Of course, if you want to see more shots of these, you can always check out my Instagram and my Twitter, too, I suppose. But, uh, it's nice to see video footage, I suppose. Alright, come on, let's see. Alright, so, yeah, I guess the reason she's here is because I redesigned her outside. So I put her up here instead of down here, which is interesting. I wonder if we, we don't really have to sort it, though. It's fine, but, uh, yeah. Next one is Buzz, but before we get to Buzz, let me... Take a sip of some water. So once again, these videos are sponsored by water. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> I get thirsty very easily. But yeah, here we have Buzz. Buzz is an interesting one because Buzz actually used to live on my island. And I don't know if you guys ever had Buzz on your island before, but let's just say Buzz's home when he lives on your island is kind of underwhelming. So when I saw Buzz here and I had the chance to finally give him the home he wants, I was like, you know what, Buzz? I'll hook you up, Buzz. Buzz's dream was to have himself a tea shop house. So I was like, you know what, Buzz? Hell yeah, dude. If you ever seen Buzz's poster, too, he's actually in a samurai costume. So he always had, like, this like Japanese kind of theme going on with him. But his home never really expressed that, which is weird. His home essentially was just a parking lot, which is just so weird. I guess kind of sad in a way. It's almost like he wanted this, but he just didn't have the income, so he just settled for a parking lot. I don't know. There's Buzz. I dressed him up like that, because why not? I'm surprised he's still wearing it. I guess they keep the outfits you throw on them. That's interesting. Here's the outdoor area. Got a picnic blanket, so you can sit down and have some picnic. And there's some of the new items. I love that tree. Looks like a, was it the uh, pocket camp stuff at this point? So that's cool. And the inside of Buzz's house tells a story. I always like telling stories with these houses I design, but uh, here's this one. So this is his tea shop, essentially. So on this side, of course, this is Buzz's corner. This is where he sleeps and relaxes. This is also when I unlocked the uh, the walls. So there's like one of the walls right there. I actually just left it in the same spot it was in when I came in here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to work with that. Why not? But yeah, basically a little division here for Buzz's room. 
and on this side of course this is the tea shop itself like this is where you would walk in and you would purchase your teas and whatever and you can even get some fresh hot soup here if you want and I have a lot of fun with this one especially in first person it's kind of fun to come in here with first person mode you can see like when you walk in you just greet it to like these nice little decorations and of course you walk in here as a customer this is where you'd buy your teas this guy would sell you your tea because Buzz you know he has better things to do with his time right Buzz where is he I heard him wave at me but I don't see him but uh yeah you can buy all these teas if you want of course you know if you're a friend of Buzz or you know your Buzz <laughs> you're actually Buzz yourself this is where you'd come to like relax after a long day of work. I wish you could put items on these walls. Unfortunately, you can't. But I guess that's a good thing for me, right? Because, you know, I'd probably crash the game. Because <laughs> I love to just load the walls with shit. I mean, look at that. There it is again. I'm telling you. I love them. I can't get over them. There's his permit. So he can actually sell teas. Like, that's his tea selling license, I guess. There's some flowers. There's his outfit. And there's this little corner over here. It's a little decorative corner. See, there's his original photo. See that? He's wearing a samurai outfit. And his house is just like a parking lot, which is so weird. But yeah, I mean, I feel like this is what Buzz wanted. You know, like this is, is Buzz's dream. So I really, really, really love design this one too. This is definitely another favorite of mine that I've made so far, so... Very happy with that one. Now we move on to Octavian. Octavian. This is another uh, simple quickie. Another one that I didn't really spend too much time on. I might come back and redo this one a little bit as well. But uh, it's a little beach, of course. There's a nice little boat. That's a new item. That's really cool. I think those floaties are also new items. I've never seen those before. Let's see what we got. Who's in here? It's Octavian. There he is. And this is his house. It's simple. Very, very simple. Really not a lot to say about it. It's just a little beach inside his house. I love those seagulls. Those are definitely new items. I love those little flying seagulls. But yeah, of course, you know, there's a spot to watch TV, there's his bed. What is he doing? He's like dancing? Oh, he's like playing in the sand. He actually plays in the sand if you use a sand for it? That's interesting. That's wild. Look at him. It just looks like he's dancing, but he's playing in the sand. What? Dude, they know it's sand. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, there's Octavian. He's so cool. It's like a little Octa Rock from Zelda, so I love them. Anyway, the next one is Opal. Got another elephant character. I've never seen this character before either, but I love her, honestly. She looks really nice. She wanted another. She's another nature character, so. She loves flowers. Loaded her up with lots of flowers. And of course, uh, this is when we unlocked the ability to use the hybrid flowers. So I gave her like a lot of exotic gold flowers and all that jazz. Some blue roses, black roses. Little outdoor beach area. Why not? Let's see the inside of her home. If I recall, I think this one's also fairly simple. I don't think I spent too much time on this one either, but, uh, yeah, a little cozy home, another open concept home. I didn't put anything on your table. Ah, oh, jeez, see? I meant to, like, put some stuff on your table and put, like, a plant on this thing, probably. But, yeah, it's just simple, cozy home. A lot of plants, obviously, but I'm definitely going to come back to this one sometime. Here's a little kitchen area. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, I mean, not really a lot to say about this one. Just a little kitchen. A little garden-themed room. I actually like this one. This one has a nice 
cozy feel to it. It reminds me of my sister for some reason. Like I feel like this is in a room or a house that my sister would like stay at or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's Opal. She's really cool. I like her. Alrighty. So now we move on to the last one that we designed. And as you can see, look who showed up on our island. This was the one I designed today as well. So not only did that squirrel guy show up on my island, but on my vacation island, this guy showed up too. This is a very popular character right now. This is Sasha. I actually really like this character too, honestly. There you go, we got an item. What is this? Ooh, nice. He gave me like the moon floor in his house. That's sick. I actually never had that one yet, but yeah, this guy. He wanted a space-themed vacation home, so he really had a lot of fun stuff to work with here. So yeah, I mean look at all these big star things. I would love like all these items. I have like none of these. I don't have these giant star lamps. I have this moon. I always wanted that UFO up there. I never got a chance to get that UFO. It looks so cool. We got like these rabbits too. Are these new? I swear I've never seen these rabbit decorations before. But I threw these in here too because, you know, like moon bunnies or whatever. There's a spaceship. So why not? Whoa. What's inside there? It almost looks like a drink for some reason. I don't know, but uh, let's go inside. This is the one I designed earlier today. I just went totally crazy with this one, honestly. Yeah. What are you looking at? Looking at the bulletin board. Nice. But let's, let's go in first person mode for this one. I use a, a lot more walls for this one. But uh, once again, we're telling a story here. This guy likes space, apparently. So uh, I give him like a space themed house. And uh, got astronauts and rocket ships decorating the whole house. I'm jealous of all your decorations, man. I wish I had this stuff. Here's a little dining area where you'd like eat. Over here is the kitchen. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. All right, but yeah, the kitchen. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Yeah, here's the story. You see, um, this guy comes from the future. This guy's actually from the future. Which is why he looks so, like, perfect and cute. It's because he comes from, like, Animal Crossing 20 years later where the games just become, like, perfect and weird. So all his food comes from, like, this machine. He just presses his button. And this machine will create any meal that he wants to eat for the day. And what do you know? Hey, it's our best friend in the whole world. There it is. Oh, let me zoom in. Come on. Get back in first person, please. All right. Nice. But yeah, this is his little hangout area. Of course, this is where he would sit and watch TV up there. We got some Rosalina on the wall. Why not? Got some Princess Peach on the wall. Got some more Miku. Got some Rosalina. I said more Miku for a reason. Well, you see, this guy, he's from the future. But when he came to Earth, he really started to appreciate a lot of the things on Earth. Unfortunately, that includes a lot of anime, a lot of Vocaloid stuff. So he's actually a, a huge fan of Hatsumiku for some reason. So I decorated his whole bedroom area with a bunch of Miku pictures and all that. And uh, let's see. So this area right here, this is where he would like study and read his books. Because uh, he seems like a smart guy, honestly. Like He's always wearing like that outfit. It looks like a school uniform. So imagine this guy likes to study sometimes. So I like to imagine he like sits here and studies and researches about like outer space and stuff. But yeah, I mean, this is his little uh, bedroom area. He can look in the mirror if he wants to. Can I use the mirror? Oh, dude, I can. That's pretty cool. So I can actually use his mirror. Let's see what's in his wardrobe. You got anything in here? Ah, I'm stuck. Let me see. Oh, jeez. No, I don't think I could use that. It's kind of a 
bad spot. Yeah, it's a it's definitely a very chaotic looking house as you can tell. There's a lot of chaos here, but I feel like that's his personality, right? He's just a crazy, weird dude. This is where he sleeps. So look at this thing. This is definitely one of the new items, I believe. Such a cool item. It's like a little uh, futuristic bed. When you get out of it, look at that. It, like steams. That shit's awesome, dude. Can't wait to get all these new items and shit. Who knows when. I really can't wait to get that disco ball especially. And that little swirling chandelier. And especially these giant starlights, dude. I can't wait to get those, man. I don't know when I'm going to get those. But he did give me the floor, which is really awesome. I did not have this floor yet. So that's really cool to get that from him. Yeah, that's Sasha. One of the new popular characters in the game. Nice to see him here. It was fun to design a house for him. And he loves food because he's lazy. All right, well. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. For the vacation homes I've designed off camera. It's about 11 vacation homes, I believe. But we do also have a facility. <laughs> As you can see, we have Capiche University. Let's check out this. So we also got to design a school. And you know how much we all love school. Yeehaw. School is so much fun, isn't it? So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make this school very weird. Because why not? They gave you the tools. They gave you the power. So you know what? Every student who comes here, this is their desk. They have to go inside a car. <laughs> a fully fledged functional car. Because why not? Yeah. Do your homework inside your car. Buzz is in timeout. Poor Buzz. He's in timeout, dude. And honestly, once they're in there, they actually cannot escape. Like, he cannot get out of there. He's stuck there. And yeah, the reason it's called Capiche University, look who's the teacher. I made him the teacher. So his daytime job, he's a teacher. His nighttime job, he's a mafia boss. Isn't that crazy? And look at, look at that. Bob is sitting at the teacher's desk. Isn't that funny? The teacher actually never sits at his desk because apparently this item, this is supposed to be the teacher's thing. So, yeah, it's a little weird, honestly, but, yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this one. Just make it really wacky, really crazy. Because why not, you know? Yeah, why not? Make it wacky. So a lot of the houses I've been designing have actually been, like, serious about them. So I was like, why not do something more silly with the school? And, yeah, as you can see, uh, there's a certain special character on the wall. So why not? Remember this guy? Who remembers this? classic man up there there he is so he's happy he's watching you as you study of course if you try to leave unfortunately he's not very happy anymore so yeah interesting there's his uh his music i remember we had teachers in high school who played the silliest music there's like this one teacher he would like literally play smash mouth when shrek was like the top meme of that month. It was hilarious. Every kid in the class was like chuckling and shit. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for our uh, vacation island progress. You saw the vacation houses we've been working on. It's been a lot of fun. Look at this. They're all doing yoga over here. It's always cool to come over here and see what they're doing. They're actually doing some pretty cool like photo stuff. Like they're always doing cool poses that are very nice to take pictures of. Look at that. Perfect. Just a perfect photo right there. Bam. Yeah. Let me sit down here. It's a nice little scenic view. But, yeah, it's been fun, honestly. Been having a lot of fun with this DLC. Like I said, I've been, I spend like Usually like hour or two designing these houses sometimes. It's crazy. But I don't know. I'll see what we can do in terms of content for this Animal Crossing game. I want to try designing some more vacation homes on camera. And I have like two characters in mind that I have vacation homes planned for. 
And they're both uh, characters that have amiibos for. And I guess we'll find out who those are in the future. But until then, uh, thanks for watching. I guess I'm going to continue progressing off camera. And I'll do more update videos and such. But I think the next video is going to be me designing a vacation home for a particular friend that we might be familiar with. You know, let's just say he's uh, scared of bugs. He likes dinosaurs and stuff, you know. A certain owl. Absolute legend. You know how he is. But uh, yeah. That's my vacation home progress. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought the moon had like a bunch of like tiny stars in it for some reason. But uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to end these videos, I know. But there's Nico drinking some beer. What's up, buddy? Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my designs and such. It's been fun designing these, so... Uh, yeah, have a good night, guys, and don't forget, if you want, you can check out my other Animal Crossing videos. It's honestly a lot of fun doing these. Like, it's really fun. It's nice to be able to record these, but anyway, never mind. I'll see you guys next time. All right, I'm going to try to do the dashy thing where he's like, bye-bye, guys. <laughs>